Hi, and welcome to the first of my holiday baking series. I'm Farita, and today I'm really excited to be sharing you one of my most delicious and indulgent baked dip recipes. Every time I serve this at parties, it is a major hit. It's perfect when you're serving to large groups or looking for something easy during the busy holiday season. So let's dive in, and I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing, indulgent, beautiful, baked, cheesy bacon and jalapeno dip right now. Let's go. What we're gonna do is get started with some cream cheese that I've chopped and that I've let come to room temperature. This makes it a lot easier to work with. So you're gonna simply throw this into your bowl. And then what you're gonna do is add a little bit of mayo. And I like to mash it up at this point just to make sure that the cream cheese is nice and easy to work with. So you can see that we've got a nice creamy looking texture here. And then what we're gonna do is add in some cheddar cheese. The reason I like cheddar cheese is because you do not want a mild cheese with this kind of dip, you need that flavor. So go for a good quality cheddar. I find that always works really well. And now what we're going to do is just mix that in really nicely one more time until it's nice and evenly distributed. I mean, you could do this in your food processor if you wanted to. It's just, I've always done it this way and I kind of just like doing it the old fashioned way, I guess, with this recipe. So what we're going to do next is add some bacon. You definitely want to cook off your bacon before you add it into this dip for maximum flavor. Now, all we need to do to this is add a few more perfect key ingredients, which are some chopped spring onions. You're just gonna throw those in. Some diced pickled jalapeno. And I also like to add just a little bit of the, the juice as well, because I find it just gives that extra hit of flavor, which I really love. A little bit of chili powder. I just find it enhances the flavor that little extra bit more. And now again, all we're gonna do is mix it up really, really well. And one great thing about this dip is that you don't have to just serve it as a dip. You can actually uh, mix it into pasta or into potato dishes as well and make them into bakes, which is really nice. It's also perfect for maybe stuffing chicken breasts. Like there's so much you can do with this recipe. It's really good. So once you have it all mixed up, like we have it here and you can see it's all really, really nicely mixed together. So what you're gonna do now is grab your oven safe baking dish and simply place the ingredients into your bowl. And we're just going to smooth out that top and get it nice and even. Like that. Yum. That looks so good already. And now we're going to finish it off with some cheese. Just going to pop that over evenly. And then we're going to add some extra jalapenos. My hands are clean. I'm just using my fingers. And so what I like to do at this point is just add a little bit more cooked bacon on top. So let's do that. So I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of the bacon over the cheese like that. Perfect. Oh my God. This looks so good. I'm excited already. And now all we have to do is pop this into the oven and let it bake at 180 degrees for approximately 20 minutes. But once it's golden and bubbly, you know it's done and ready to go. Here we go. Mm -mm. Now we're just gonna put that on for 
approximately 20 minutes. This is purely optional, but once your dip is finished, you can add a few little extra goodies. One of those things I like to add is a little bit extra spring onion. So I usually just chop it along in half just to make the pieces a little bit finer, or you can even, if you want to, cut them again like that. And then you're just gonna finely slice them. You don't need much, just a little. And you don't have to be too precise, it's fine. Just a little bit like that is great. And then you can also add a little bit of chili, which I also love on the top of this. It just adds color. And I think green and red, like they're really festive, fun colors. So I just like to add those anyway. I think our dip is almost ready. I really hope it is because I'm dying to try it. <laughs> Let's see. Seriously, guys, check this out. You have to be hungry right now. <laughs> We're just gonna get it ready for serving. So I usually like to serve some corn chips, but you could actually use whatever you like. You could use carrot sticks, celery sticks, your favorite crackers. But I do find that the natural crunch and flavor of corn chips does work really, really well with this recipe. And then all we need to do is add a little bit of our freshly chopped spring onion. Mm -mm -mm. So good, so good. And just for added flavor hit, some delicious chili flakes. And I swear, everybody at your next party is gonna be asking you for this recipe. And now it's time for me to try it. Oh yeah. I'm so excited I can't even get it on my corn chip, guys. <laughs> mm. It's got so much flavor. It is cheesy. It's got the bacon, it's got the jalapeno, the chili. It is so good. Guys, you have to try it. So if you'd like to get your hands on this recipe today, please visit my website, Eat In Style by Farita, and I have so much more coming up for you guys. It's so exciting, so please do stay tuned, and I hope to see you again really soon. And bye for now.